the effect seems to snowball. Now he's got a chance to get back together. Oh, a nice plan. And press the handstand. Double back. A good landing. Mark Casso. Not pleased with his performance, but finishing up strongly. Here's Mark on the back toss. He has good swing, but he's a little bit loose in his back here as he starts to drop through. And he pushes away and tries to regain his composure, but doesn't have quite enough swing on this stutz. And there seems to be controversy about the score. The judge is caucusing someone out of the range, and so they are getting together to reevaluate. Now the score, 8.4 from Mark Casso. Parallel bar competition. This is Li Ning going for the Chinese. The Americans have already competed. Peter Vidmar had a high 9.6. Although this is not Li Ning's best event, he does do one really great move. There it is, a giant front uprise. Li Ning has good momentum at this point. He has already won the rings and vault and is the leader in the all-around. He's very solid on this event. His body is in good line and always tight. Good Diamond. Snapping his moves with military-like precision. A very high double back, but I'm afraid a form deduction with the legs. Li Ning has delighted the crowd throughout this competition. But he's down, Bart. He's collapsed on the mat. Li Ning has had a huge travel schedule this year, and I'm afraid the competition might have just caught up with him. Coaches and trainers massaging his muscles. He appears to have cramps. He looks good right here. Very nice Diamidov. Good tight swing. No problems. If he was feeling weak during the routine, it certainly did not show. And though Li Ning is still in discomfort from the cramps, he wants to know his score. It is a 9.6. I'm surprised to see that he has cramps, but I imagine even the best get cramps with that heavy competitive schedule, Greg. This is Huang Yubin, at 23, considered a rising star on the team. And this is his best event. Huang does a very interesting parallel bar routine. Notice he mounts on the end to a plan. Cast into the middle. Chinese strength has served them very well throughout this competition. Very nice elements. Here comes his new move, the reverse hack. A little break in the rhythm. I think he can clean it up a little, though. Good control. A little long in that handstand there. And about a nice pike double dismount. Wang Yubin, winner of the fourth Chinese National Games all-around title. Excelling on the parallel bars. And Bart, it's worth looking at again. Here's the interesting mount. He starts with a glide kip, reverse straddle cut, and stops it cold in a plange. And he does a cast, reverse straddle cut again, and swing the handstand. The score for Huang Yubin, 9.7. Makes him the leader right now in the parallel bars, but the all-around leader, Li Ning, is still on the floor. This is Li Yuju, getting ready for the parallel bars. Li does a great set here. A peach to handstand. Oh, and a beautiful straddle, front one and a quarter. Shock absorber arm. He's moving a little quickly. It stops the L very nicely. A smooth press to handstand. And he swings again with a back toss, a stutz, and a nice tight double back. Great landing. Li Yuju, 24, oldest member of the Chinese team here, with an energetic performance. Let's look again at the straddle front one and a quarter. 
Notice a very fast swing, a nice high front flip, and he catches coming down with incredible force. The trick is to do that with perfect rhythm. Then from the handstand, he swings down, does a back toss, and an underbar cast. He'll do a straddle cut and stop it dead in an L. An impressive performance that earns him a 9.75. Lee Yuju, who won the floor exercise, wins the parallel bars. One event remaining, the high bar, the most dramatic of all. And at this point, the Americans 239.4 to the Chinese 240.7. And Jim Hartong still has a chance to win the all-around. The high bar, the next event, men getting ready. Lots of danger in the high bar these days. This is going to be a great event today, Greg. For both the American men's team and the Chinese men's team, this is really the most spectacular event. We're going to see a lot of risky release moves, of course a big dismount, and you're not going to believe this, but a lot of one-arm giant swings, and the pressure going through the bottom on one hand is incredible, so I can't wait to see it. And it will begin with Li Ning. Next Remember, time. suffered cramps after the parallel bar performance. His arms bothering him. Now the high bar, which taxes the arms to the ultimate, and he is in contention for the all-around. Li Ning gets a good start with a straddle giant swing. Oh, nice, one-arm giant. The Beautiful. arms can't be bothering him now. And also a reverse hack, a great release move. He seems to be having no trouble so far. Inverted giant swings. I have to check out the dismount to see if his orientation is all right. Oh, one, two, three, nice! Oh, it looked like his knees buckled a little bit on the landing, Greg. Some trouble on the landing, but on the high bar, Li Ning is spectacular. And always the energy to acknowledge the crowd. But obviously, Bart, he is not feeling well, very weak, rejecting water from the coach, and collapsing in the corner. He has spent it all in six events. Here's the triple back dismount. Notice the very fast Giants. Really cranking now. He kicks into the flip with one, two, three flips. And right in there. Leaning score, 9.8. Courageously, he has overcome the muscle cramps and gone on to an excellent performance. And now the next man, another threat on the high bar, Tong Fei. This is probably Tong Fei's best event. He gets into his inverted giants right away. Now he can do one-arm giants on both arms. Notice right arm, right arm, and then switch to his left arm. Fantastic. So confident he almost seems cocky about it. After the reverse heck, he'll get back into his giants. Bass giants. Oh, wild tap and create a double twisting double bass. And what height over the bar for Tong Fei. And Bart, he has shown real improvement on the high bar since we saw him compete in Peking. Tong Fei, cocky smile. Here's the one arm giants again. Notice he's so confident that he puts his left arm right next to the side of his body. And then again on the left side. The release move is the reverse hecht. Very well done. Now the dismount has an unusual tap, one I've never seen before. Notice a huge pike arch, releases the bar, two twists and two flips. The score as high as his dismount, 9.85. And the crowd calls him out to acknowledge their cheers. And yet the best high bar performer on the Chinese team is yet to come. This is Zoli Min. Bart, there almost seems to be a plan here. That's right, Greg. It, it's a typical team strategy to start with your weaker performers and build to save your best for last. Imagine your weaker performer getting a 9.8. Zoli Min, when we saw him in China two nights in a row, a perfect 10 on the high bar. A stalder with mixed grip. And there is one arm giant, another one arm giant, and a flowering half turn. He almost didn't catch that, Greg. Enormous risk in this performance. 
Nice stalder, hop stalder. And a straddle front, beautiful. Wong, lean, Zoli Min doesn't appear to have this kind of strength, but when he's on the high bar, he becomes bionic. He has very nice line and long, fluid swing. Here's the dismount, a full twisting double back, and nailed it. It's all business for Zoli Min on the high bar. Perhaps the best in the world. Okay, here's the one arm giant. Notice beautiful stretch. Using the other arm for balance. Now he'll go up, release, do a flip, a half twist, and try and re-grab. Here's the straddle front flip. An arch tap, front flip, turn around, and the bar is right where he left it. And a very nice dismount. Notice a back flip and then a back flip with a full twist. Dropping it right in there. And 21-year-old Zoli Min has gotten the highest score of the competition. A 9.95. And he is called out to the floor. And China crowds don't cheer too much. Here, they have enjoyed every minute. Now the Americans. Mark Casso. Mark is going to be trying a new element in his routine, similar to the one that Zoli Min used. There's a hop change. And there's his inverted giants. Notice not quite the same stretch that Choli Min had. There it is, one arm giant to a release move. Pretty nicely done. Not quite as spectacular as those, but very nice. Castle had trouble on the parallel bars, scored an 8.4, he has rallied here. A couple of fast giants for his dismount, a tuck double back, and a good landing. And Mark Castle's pride shows through, regardless of the score, a victory for him. After a bad fall several months ago, it was thought he might never compete again. Let's look at Mark's one-arm giant to the flyaway half turn. Releases, turns around, and re-grabs. Very easily done. The score for Mark Casso, 9.55. And there are still more Americans to come. This is Mario McCutcheon of the United States. An unusual story, 24 years old. Didn't start competing until he was 16, and he is from the Bronx, New York. Mario is a very stylish gymnast. Notice a nice presentation, good extension. Oh, and a nice reverse hat. Beautiful toe point. Nice line. A hop change. And inverted giants. Mario also has a body type that reminds me somewhat of the Chinese part. Very strong upper body. Yes, he is very strong and uses that to his advantage. A nice straddle heck ball. So far, just great. Here's his dismount. Three fast giants and a pike open double back. Great job. Mario McCutcheon very clean on the high bar. Mario tends to be sort of a hot and cold gymnast, but when he's on, he's on. Well, he was obviously on in this performance. And he knows it. Here's the back stalder. Good stretch. And the reverse heck release move. Perfectly done. Here's his heck vault. Notice the release, go way over the bar and come back down. Good control. Only eight years in the sport, Mario McCutcheon gets a 9.75 on the high bar. Next up, a man who is a veteran on the high bar, tallest competitor on the U.S. team, Phil Cahoy. Phil has always done an excellent job on this event. His nice long body lets him swing very easily and smoothly. There's a straddle heck ball. Not quite as high as Mario's, but very nicely done. Cahoy was the highest scoring American the last time these two teams...